So I'm going to be talking about some medical marijuana companies, uh, research companies that are currently developing mer medication from marijuana. And these companies should be interesting to watch over the course of the next year or two just to see where they end up and whether or not their medications are successful. And also to see how much they grow if their medications are successful. That is a question that I would like to see answered. Uh, but anyways, if you don't want to watch the whole video, the companies themselves, the list will be in the description, so you can go look there. But I do have some valid points to make, so uh, if you want to learn something, do stick around if you can, of course. And let's get started. Um, so the first company on the list, actually before I talk about the companies, let me just say this. These companies are heavily volatile and they are very risky because these companies almost entirely, de almost entirely depend on whether their medication actually ends up working or not. So if their medication does not end up working, they can they can have some pretty big drops. And at the first company right here, you can see that it went up 50% before the results of a trial were announced, and then it fell right back after the results of the trial were not as favorable as people had expected. So these companies can be heavily volatile. Uh, some people like that, some people don't, but they do have a lot of potential. And even if their medications are not successful, there is a chance that some of the patents that these companies create, uh, there's a chance that some of those patents will become worth a lot of money. Because if these companies patent a specific like extraction method or a specific medication or a specific way to do something with marijuana or one of its components, then those patents can become worth a lot of money if somebody else makes a medication that utilizes them. So... They do have several ways to become worth, to become very valuable companies. So just to put that out there. Anyways, first company on the list is Cara Therapeutics, and this is in no particular order, by the way. But uh, this company, it does have a few medication. It mostly deals with post-op pain and chronic pain, and there is a very big market currently for pain medication. And if, if these guys can develop an alternative to opioids or some other, some other medications that do have some fairly bad side effects. Uh, they can definitely make a lot of money because, you know, a lot of the medication on the market right now, it might do its job, but it might have side effects. And there is always a market for some sort of an alternative medication because everybody is different and people do need, you know, some people can't deal with certain medication. Opioids, for example, are heavily addictive. And if you can find a, a, an alternative to opioids that is not addictive, then there will be a fairly big market for that. Uh, moving on, we have, oh yeah, by the way, this company is worth about $500 million currently. Uh, but next on the list, we have GW Pharmaceuticals, and this company is worth about $3 billion. Uh, Google doesn't have it for some reason, but this company is also very volatile. I mean, it fell down about 70% over the course of less than a year, and then it tripled right back. So I don't know what's up with that, but just be prepared for something like this if you're interested in investing into one of these companies. Uh, so this company is one of the biggest ones that's out there that currently deals with marijuana and it already has a product on the market. It's called Sativex. Sativex, I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but it also has a lot of other medications. They are currently undergoing trials and this company will be one of the first ones to release a lot of different medications onto the market. So uh, if you want to invest in a company that will give you results sooner rather than later, this would be the company because they have a lot of different medications in you know, phase one, phase two, and phase two, phase three trials. Uh, but at the same time, if these trials are not successful, then that would be problematic for the company and the stock price could drop fairly significantly. Uh, moving on, we have Zenebra Pharmaceuticals. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And also a very volatile company. I mean, it goes up and down fairly significantly. Uh, so this company has several different medications, and they are for conditions that I cannot really pronounce too well, so I'm not even going to bother. I don't want to slaughter them. Also a fairly interesting company. It's going to be having some results fairly soon, so you might want to might put it on your watch list and see how it performs. And up next on the list, we have NC's Therapeutics, and this company, uh, it's, I mean, from its peak, it's it's fallen fairly significantly, so... It's had better times, but it's still an up and running company and it still has potential. It is currently developing a lot of things to deal with opioids. So they are trying to counter the opioid problem because opioids are heavily addictive. And these guys, what they're trying to do is develop, if they can develop some sort of a medication that is at least an alternative to opioids, there will be enough of a market for them to actually become a profitable company and actually continue to exist. So that's their goal. So if you're interested in something like this that, sh that tries to counter opioids, it is this is one of the companies that currently tries to deal with it. 
And lastly on the list is a company that I wasn't really sure if I should include. We have Axon Biotechnologies. Now, I decided to include this company, uh, but this company is very, it's fairly weird. So, by the way, the Google, Google doesn't have the charge for some reason. Uh, but the company, it was about at $14 about six months ago, then it dropped to $8, then it went back up to $14, then it dropped back to $8, then it went up to $12, then it dropped, went up, and it's dropping again. So I don't know what's up with this company. It feels like somebody is manipulating the price. The stock is extremely volatile, and it keeps on doubling and dropping halving for no, no apparent reason. There was no news that really caused this sort of drop and this sort of a... Uh, this sort of spike. So I don't know what's happening with it. Somebody's probably manipulating it for some reason, but I don't know why. Uh, but this company, so this is this company. Its approach to medication is to try to be as broad as possible. What they try to do is they try to create medications that affect a lot of people, or they try to treat conditions that affect a lot of people. And I mean, their their approach is basically throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And they have a lot of different medications. You can check some of them out. A lot of them, well, some of them are currently in tr trial phases and the results should be coming out fairly soon. What annoys me about this company, though, is that they have a lot of flowery language and they are a little bit shady. And if you, if you, do, some research, if you do some research on this company, you will find that it is quite shady. So, for example, so this is the SEC filings. And one of the lines, so with, oh, with, with over 10 patent... I can't speak for some reason. With over 10 patents and 20 trademarks, why over 10? Can't you guys just state the exact number? Uh, the team already has launched 10 or 15 commercial products. Like, why 10 or 15? Why can't you just state the exact number? It feels like somebody went in a room and there was a guy named Bob and somebody was just like, hey, Bob, how many products do we have? And Bob, Bob was like, I don't know, 10, maybe 15. And the guy was like, okay, it works for me. And he just went along the way. Just 10 to 15 commercial products because counting is overrated, I guess. So, I don't know what's up with this. You can look at it several different ways. It might just be laziness. It might be just inability to differentiate between uh, very similar products and they just decide to do something like this. But I'm not exactly sure with this. They do have patents, so that's something. But if you're interested in a company that, try, that tries to cure stuff like uh, restless leg syndrome, which affects from 4 to 14% of Americans, and also irritable bowel syndrome, which also affects like about 10% of Americans. These guys are trying it. And if they can develop something that does help, then they'll probably have a successful medication because they are trying to go after um, not necessarily diseases that are life-threatening, but they're going after things that are more of an annoyance in your everyday life. And if they can develop something that's effective, then they'll have successful medications. Also, some of the stuff that these guys have already developed is on the market, so you can go find it. Uh, but that's that. Hopefully this is helpful. These should be interesting companies to keep on your watch list and just see how they do, especially if they have a successful medication, just to see how uh, how much of a potential marijuana has. Also, I forgot to mention some of their market caps, but you can go look that up, so that's okay. Uh, but if this helped, leave a like and check out my channel.